just picked up the groceries. What's inside the new official Wacky Packages minis? A big thank you to Wacky Packages for providing a package that we could open up here on the channel. One thing I must say and give points awarded to them for doing is that they actually made it look like an official grocery bag, like I literally just came from the store. A nice little also touch is stapled to the bag because I've actually yet to open this up and check out the contents inside. On the top, you've got official Wacky Packages minis. Thanks for shopping. Your package may, may have been sat on. I love that. But what's also neat though, is that the way they've done it, they make it look like it's an old label. There's a coffee stain on there. I can assure you that coffee stain hasn't come from me. And they've even given it like a little bit of wear and tear. So it looks like it's gotten wet. It looks like it's gotten crumpled. But we're gonna go ahead and just pull this off. Again, because I've yet to see the contents going on inside. And we flip it around to the back. Official Wacky Packages Minis. And then it says 2021 Wacky Packages Place, Chimps Ahoy, Illinois. And I can assure you that's probably not the number that you need to be calling. It says the date, Friday, 0101-1967 at 12 a.m. Purchases Wacky Packages Minis for $6.99. Wacky, another wacky, wacky Packages Minis for $6.99, giving us a total of $13.98. And apparently I gave them a $100 tip. That's probably why my bank account seems a little empty right now. Thanks for shopping at Amazon, Target, and Walmart, where you will be able to get the Wacky Packages for yourself. And then it says down below, Wacky Packages Minis Series 2. The outrageous miniature collectible brand, Wacky Packages Minis, based on the classic stickers by iconic trading card company Tops, introduces a new series of mini toys and mini stickers to collect. Series 2 features 82 new mini toys and mini stickers, including three different levels of rare styles. Rare, really rare, and forget about it rare, happy hunting. Man, is that super cool. So again, a big thank you to Wacky Packages and Tops for taking the time and sending this over my way. I've yet to really see what the contents are inside. I decided to keep everything sealed and intact until eventually the, the big reveal. So we're going to slide this out. And I guess perhaps not grocery shopping necessarily, we got ourselves some takeout, takeout food in a similar style of container that you would normally get maybe Chinese food in. Um, as you can see, it's all a metal tin. On the bottom there, it says, says Teflon. And we can go ahead and just open this up the same way as we would normally order our takeout. I suppose I probably should have started this review talking more about takeout food, but it actually looked more like it was groceries than anything else. Let's open this up and take the tray liner off the top of the tray. And inside, I mean, right off the bat, points for packaging these. Get yourself a fork. There's a basic blue fork. I guess I probably could use that as a real fork. Put that there. We also got ourselves some napkins. But we'll say they've gone all out. I mean, those are decent looking napkins. I'm going to have to hold on to that. Maybe when I have company over, eventually, of course, we can't have company over right now unless the person's sitting on the other side of the room. And then we've got ourselves the actual official wacky packages. I suppose I could probably just put this aside for the time being. But that is super cool the way that they package that. Let's put that over to the side. And then you've got the actual, the real thing, the real packaging that you'll see in stores. The official wacky packages minis. 3D puny products. Some of the ones that you can see probably right there. There's Dead Bull, Jerkins, Wild Soap, Zit, Zit Cat, and Snots. Oh, that's lovely. There's 82 to collect. And again, this is Series 2. We did actually have a look at the Series 1. If you haven't checked out that video, give it a go. Give it a watch if you get a chance. And a down below comes to us from uh, Super Impulse Toys. You can collect them all. So very, very cool. We're going to go ahead and open up these. And on the top, it seems that we already have two reveals with the surprises then for the rest of them on the inside at the bottom, right down here. We're going to open up the first packaging. Just peel this away like that. There we go. I didn't want to drop, didn't want to drop the soap. It's actually not even soap though. It's wind, wind hex glass cleaner for haunted houses. Makes your window look really spooky. Hey, I'm all board. I'm on board for that. 
Now, basically what it is, is it's a plastic version of basically the sticker cards that we would have gotten those years ago. And then they've applied a sticker over top of it, telling us it's Windhex. That is super cool. Well, obviously, you don't just get the one inside, so we're going to go ahead and remove the tray. And in the tray, there was also a sticker. And we've got Chef Girl RD. This is Feminist Spaghetti, approved by Women's Lib. Okay, I can you certainly add that to my sticker album, which is increasing every single day. And then we've got ourselves the actual, the actual uh, inserts. Now, these are all individually bagged, so we don't really know what they are just yet. I'm going to grab, how many are in here? I think there's four. Four. Okay, we'll grab all four of those. And then we also got some inserts. Check out the inserts first before we start opening up stuff. So this is all the whole line of these super small, super mini, world's smallest toys. I have done reviews on some of these. I would definitely be on board getting and having a look at more of these, especially like the little tiny G.I. Joes and the little tiny Transformers. There's like old Fisher Price, there's Viewmasters. I have seen some really clever photographers using these and actually displaying them with their action figures, like the little mini arcades, for example. Look at all those cool little mini arcades. There's even a Turtles arcade. Definitely be interested in that. There's Hot Wheels pens, little precision guns and stuff like that as well. There's also something called the Furpinator, the gross-out game. That'd be interesting as well. So you get, again, a bunch of little insert cards. This will be the checklist, of course, for the wacky packages. We'll open that up right now. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going through the checklist because, of course, I want to spend more time really going through all the minis that we're getting inside. Look at this lame boy. Lame boy. There's Windhex. We've already got that one. There's Ticks. Just to name a few. There's Peter Pan Panhandle. Slop Tarts. What else do we have in here? Scrapple. Chimps Ahoy. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them to go through. And then there's ones on the back there as well. We'll put that to the side. All right, let's get to opening these. Been patiently, patiently waiting to open these up. Now I can cer certainly open these up on camera and show you guys. We can all get a good laugh out of these. We've got DDT Flavor Lice Cakes. Lice cakes, the crispy little blood suckers. <laughs> now, of course, it's literally just a label that they've applied over top of it, but gives you the look of what a packaged figure or packaged, a wacky package would actually look like. Because in the past, we've only got really the sticker cards. Now we actually have the real, you know, physical things that you can put on display. They're tiny. I mean, if you put them next to my thumb, for example, not that I've got a super, super sized thumb, but it is a smaller packaging. DDT flavor, lice cakes. Love that. Uh, opening up the next packaging. By the way, if you guys have been collecting collecting the wacky packages, let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think of these. I mean, when I was younger, I used to be collecting a whole ton of the wacky packages trading cards. And now I'm really benefiting from now the fact that we actually have these little tiny replicas. So we've got bottled baby poop. Diaper dust flavor. Oh, that sounds like something you would want to avoid. Doesn't have anything that opens to it. Just a clear canister of plastic and then a label on there. That is so much fun. Let's open up the next one here. Um, I think, yeah, I got two more that we can open up and then we're going to go ahead and open up the next container. The next one we have is milk foam. Milk foam. Give your dog the brush. The milk foam brand dog toothpaste. It'll make your pet, what is it, say, roam from home. On the other side, same thing, milk foam, milk foam. Probably not the toothpaste that I would be using myself. And then the last package of the new wacky packages. We've got sneeze it. It's funny that I'm saying, I'm reading sneeze it, because this whole time I feel like I have to sneeze. I've been keeping it in. Hoping it's not going to pop its way out, but I'm giving you guys all the ahead warning that a sneeze may be coming. This is the stunt time. Is that right? Stunt time, sneeze it. Wise crackers, cracker. It's made with real sneezing powder. I probably will want to stay away from these. Well, I already feel like a sneeze is coming. 
I'll stay away from probably taking any one of these sneezes. Cool. So that's the one that we got for the first packaging. So we ended up getting five of them total. Actually, let's bring the camera down a little bit so you guys can actually see a little bit better. So we got ourselves five packages. Let's go ahead and open up package number two. Big, big thank you again to the folks over at Super Impulse that provided these. Again, based on the original tops and the original wacky packages. The next one we're going to have a look at is Bling Pup. Now, I used to have Bling Pops when I was younger. Certainly not of Blue Snazberry. This is jewelry candy for the flashy little dogs. Does it have anything on the back? No, it's just on the one side. Bling Pups. Awesome. Then, of course, I'm guessing we're going to have a sticker right here. For the sticker option, we've got Cram. Oh, she's just shoving it right in there. Cram. Now, these, again, are peelable stickers. You can peel those right off and stick them into your sticker album. So I got myself a couple of stickers. I can do that right after this review. I'm going to put those to the side. I uh, got the little insert tray. We're not going to use that. We're going to pull out the packages. I'm going to avoid this time going through the insert cards because we've already had a look at those. So we've got ourselves four packages again. Taking out again the checklist, we'll put that to the side. And I'll check these off later to see which ones I have and which ones I still need. Again, here's a quick look at the world's smallest Series 2 official Wacky Packages Minis 3D Puny products. They're going to give you guys a show of the packaging. But let's go ahead and open this up. Revealing inside, which one do we have this time? We have Anvil. Anvil. It says, kills more than just pain. I would imagine it would. 500 pounds of iron. What does it say? Warning. May contain minor headaches. Well, I think it would contain probably more than just minor headaches. It says, add more iron to your system. Same thing as on the other side as well. I do think it's clever that the way they made it, it looks like you would be able to open it up. Like the little flaps are on the outside. See that? Well, not on that side. On this side here. So it does look like little miniature ty types of packaging. Really, really, again, clever the way they've done that. Let's open up the next one. Let's see which one we have. We have chicken fat. Chicken fat laundry detergent for lovelier stains. And what does that say on this? Oh, I can't even make that. I can't even make out what that says at the bottom there. I, I don't think it's real words. But yeah, we've got chicken fat laundry detergent. And again, like just doing the comparison with my slightly smaller than average sized thumb, give you guys an idea of how big these packages actually are. We've got two more packages to open up. Uh, we've got ticks. Oh, I was hoping we would get ticks. Well, not, you, you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. This is new lemon lime flavor, L-Y-M-E flavor, fruit sweetened vermin. Ooh, maybe stay away from that cereal in the cereal aisle. Same again on the side, on the other side, and then it still has that tab on the top to make it actually look like the packaging. Pretty neat looking. Then we've got one last packaging to open up, and just look, look, look at that. I mean, we've already got ourselves almost the full shopping list completed. But let's see what's last on our shopping list. Opening up the final packaging. Sliding it out. Let's see what we can... Can we deduce anything of what the packaging is based on the front? Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the black is coming off of the packaging onto my fingers. Anyways, though, we've got ourselves... Kind of looks like little cockroaches. Bed bugs. Let's see what we got here. We got Anerman's Ant Farm Cake. I think, honey, we should get our shoes on and leave immediately. Let's hope we never go to a place that somebody is serving Ant Farm Cake. Unless you're into ants. Maybe not ants and cake. I don't mind ants. I like cake. I don't know if I would combine the both. I would, don't know if I would combine together both of them. But again, like it's all just a plastic container. And then they've applied labels on the outsides here to really give you the idea that it looks like packaging. Love that. I'm trying to think of actually which one is my favorite of the ones that we've looked at. Perhaps I would say my two top favorites are probably the ticks and the anvil. Again, the whole idea with these is they're the play off the words of the names of the packaging. So again, instead of Trix cereal, we've got Tix cereal. I know you guys are smart. You guys already knew that. Super cool little tiny collectibles, all thanks to the folks over at Super Impulse. 
Today we were having a look at the official Wacky Packages Minis Series 2. I think these are available right now in retail stores if you guys are interested in picking these ones up for yourself. Certainly also, if you are new to this channel and enjoying all the content you're seeing, whether we're looking at regular regular figures, regular statues, and of course, fun stuff like this, where you get a chance to open up like little blind packages. Definitely a lot of stuff coming your way, guys. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you turn on the bell notification and make sure you come back to this channel Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. As certainly a lot more stuff is going to be coming your way. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.